You don't even eat this type of food, man. You, you all in it, yo. But what's, what's good, y'all? This, this your boy with no name. You know what I'm saying? Just respect the infinite love, yo. Trying to see these clouds move out the way. You know what I mean? They always blocking something. Need that vitamin D, man. I hear that vitamin D stop depression. You know what I mean? Naturally, though, that's that, that's that natural medicine. That's that sustainer of life. Rah. But anyway, yo, start my day off. A couple chopped up jalapeno peppers, broccoli, zucchini, sunflower seeds. Seeds better for you than nuts, though. You know what I'm saying on the real. Look at Spinks. Always in the sun. That's the homie, man. He go way back. Got a little lemon water. A little, little dab of honey, you know what I'm saying? Just, just a little bit. But yeah, yo, I was uh, I was, I was walking by the TV earlier. Like I don't really watch TV like that, but I was walking by the TV, bro. Like it, it was the news talking about some kind of new snacks they got. Something like uh, like cricket, cricket, cricket flour, or some kind of cricket snacks, and they make them with real live crickets and they it's, it's, they ground the crickets up like they it's something they doing where they they mix the crickets up all in the into the uh into cookies and into other type of snacks and some of them mixed with coconut and some of them mixed with honey and all type of ingredients that's around the main source which is the actual cricket and i'm like okay so this is supposed to be a healthier meal than eating a plate of meat or something, you know what I'm saying? This is like the alternative. If you want, if you don't want to eat human flesh at McDonald's, then you might as well come to this side and eat some, you know what I'm saying, some damn crickets or whatever. So I just feel like, man, they just, they doing too much. Like, it, it, it really ain't even no need for all that, man. But, you know, they always going to be doing the most because they got the most to do. We the ones sitting around acting like we bored. When there's so much information out here, all we got to do is type in something and it pop up. And there's so many results that show up. It's like you can't avoid this information. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy, yo. But, I mean, I was uh, speaking to one of my brothers last night, man. You know, just some heart-to-heart -heart talk, man. And it, one of the topics was like, it's like how come how come a doctor can tell somebody how long they could live or whatever? And it's like when that doctor say, yo, you got exactly two weeks to live, and you believe this man. Remember it's a man. So you believe him with all your heart and soul, all your chakras, everything inside you believes that statement from another man, oh I got two weeks to live. Then two weeks later, just quote unquote, like somehow you pop up dead, but yet you 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 never ask God their self, the the infinite source, the the most highest creative energy in all universes. You didn't ask that type of uh, entity. You didn't ask that the all the unseen. You didn't ask that person. You let another man. Well, my bad. I don't want to call God a person. God is everything. God is the the air that's floating around us. God is the sun that sustains all life on the planet. God is, you know, water. Like anything that has to do with sustaining life, that's what I feel God is. So nobody ever just, at least whatever God they pray to, they didn't go at night and pray to their God and say, yo, can I just have a little more life left?